Hello everyone, my name is Brennan Marr. That noise you're hearing is my ventilator. And welcome to Page Turners They Were Not, my Star Wars podcast. Today we continue our catalog of the major characters of the Star Wars saga with Luke Skywalker. Let us begin. Luke Skywalker was born 19 years before the Battle of Yavin. After his father had fallen to the dark side and only moments before the death of his mother. Obi-Wan Kenobi took the infant Luke to Tatooine where Luke was raised by his aunt and uncle on a moisture farm with Obi-Wan keeping an eye on him. Nineteen years later, Princess Leia, his sister, was captured by Lord Vader and taken prisoner. Having received the stolen plans to the Death Star, she gave the plans to R2-D2 and he and C-3PO landed in an escape pod on Tatooine where they soon came in contact with Luke. Leia had also recorded a message saying that she needed Obi-Wan Kenobi's help. Luke saw the message and after some misadventures, delivered that message to Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan was able to convince Luke to come with him to rescue the princess, though the very tragic deaths of Luke's aunt and uncle helped firm Luke's resolve. Luke had rejected Obi-Wan's call and wanted to stay behind. But the unfortunate thing that happened to his aunt and uncle convinced him that he needed to learn the ways of the Force. Luke grew up dreaming of adventure, watching as his friends started leaving Tatooine, and he felt very stuck very much like the characters, some of the characters in American Graffiti, feeling stuck kind of in, a, in, no, in, in nowhere, in limbo, and wanting to go off and have these great adventures. Luke is kind of the epitome of growing up. It's a story about growing up and facing responsibility. Luke learned to face that responsibility. Now, Luke accompanies Obi-Wan to Mos Eisley where they charter a ship from Han Solo. Together, the group flies to Alderaan to deliver the plans I, I just realized I misspoke earlier. Obi-Wan did not convince Luke to come with him to rescue the princess. He convinced Luke to come with him to Alderaan to deliver the plans to lay his adopted father, Bail Organa. Luke and Han Solo, Chewbacca, the droids, and Obi-Wan set off to reach Alderaan. However, when they arrived, Alderaan had been destroyed by the Death Star. They were then captured by the Death Star, only to discover that Princess Leia was being held prisoner on board as well. Through a bit of sneaking around and subterfuge, they rescued the princess and were able to escape, with Obi-Wan giving his life so that they could escape and fight another day. They delivered the plans. The rebels were able to determine a weakness thanks to the blueprint of the Death Star and knowledge given 
by Imperial traitor Galen Erso, were able to destroy the Death Star with Luke delivering the killing blow, thus bringing a new hope to the galaxy. Three years later, Luke has helped, helped a group of rebels establish a new rebel base on the ice planet Hut. Well, there Luke is mauled by a Wampa, but recovers and participates in the Battle of Hut after the Empire learns the location of the rebel base. Unfortunately, the rebels lose the Battle of Hoth, which was a losing battle anyway. Their only job was to protect, or to prevent the Empire from stopping the rebel transports. So they, they knew they were going to lose, but they fought anyway, and Luke participated in the battle. And was actually able to destroy, help destroy a uh, Adam. Luke escaped with the rest of the rebels, but the ghost of Obi-Wan had told Luke to seek out Yoda. Luke departs from Dagobah, a swampy planet, where he tries to land, but basically crash lands in a swamp. Perhaps, perhaps guided there by a certain individual? Hmm, speculation time. Luke, of course, sets up camp and meets Yoda. At first, he doesn't know that this is a wise Jedi Master. And thinks he's a strange little frog bat pest. Only to discover that it is indeed Yoda, and Yoda is a bit frustrated. But now Luke is still rather impatient and rather whiny. But Luke convinces Yoda to train him, and the training begins, with Luke learning many important lessons about the nature of the Force, about facing his own fears, about dealing with anger and impulsiveness, and also learning that you have to have faith in the Force in order for it to work. Luke learns all these things. Some, some lessons he does learn, and others he uh, has much to learn still. But he senses through the Force that his friends are in trouble in Cloud City. Darth Vader, of course, using this to lure Luke into his trap. Despite the warnings of Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan's ghost, I should say, and Yoda. Luke heads off to save his friends. Rather impulsively. He gets there. He falls into Vader's trap. But is able to escape Vader's clutches. But during a fierce lightsaber duel, loses a hand in the process. He, of course, falls down the chute in Cloud City and is rescued by calling out through the Force to Leia, who is escaping on the Millennium Falcon. With the help from Lando, Lando now, now having come to his senses. A year later, in the events of Return of the Jedi, Luke travels to Tatooine to rescue Han Solo, who has been frozen in carbonite and given as a prize or basically given to Jabba the Hutt by Boba Fett who answered the bounty on Han's head. Luke, of course, his plan is uh, well, a bit complicated and after defeating the Rancor and destroying Jabba's sail barge, rescues on Solo, 
they escaped the planet together where they attend a briefing to plan the destruction of the second Death Star. Mook goes with the Rebel Strike Team to Endor. Darth Vader sensing Luke's presence. Luke helps our heroes get, gain the support of the Ewoks. Luke also reveals to Leia that Vader is his father and that she is his sister. Luke goes off to meet Vader. Tries to convince his father to turn back to the light side, but fails to. Vader takes Luke to meet the Emperor on the second Death Star. The Emperor is able to goad Vader and Luke into a fierce lightsaber fight, wherein Luke almost gives in, well, does give in to his anger for a minute, and then rejects the dark side, fulfilling his his journey to become a Jedi Knight. Becoming the Jedi that he was destined to be. And his act of compassion for his father ends up saving the galaxy. As Vader rejects his dark side and becomes Anakin Skywalker again, defeats the Emperor, fulfills the prophecy, and reconciles with his son before his death. Luke escapes the Death Star with the armor of Vader in tow as the Death Star is destroyed by the rebels. Luke burns his father's armor on a funeral pyre, a fitting end to the Chosen One of Jedi legend. And Luke celebrates the victory with the other rebels. Thirty years later, Luke has gone missing. We learned that after his nephew fell to the dark side and became Kylo Ren, Luke blamed himself and went into exile. The Force-sensitive girl, Rey, seeks out Luke and delivers his lightsaber to him, which he immediately rejects. But after Rey is able to convince him to rejoin the conflict, Luke, who by the way had shut himself off from the Force, reestablishes his connection with the Force and helps the Resistance save the day when they are cornered by the First Order on Crate. Luke projects himself across the galaxy, faces down Kylo Ren and distracts him enough for the Resistance to escape. But unfortunately, the strain on Luke was so much that it killed him. Luke, having saved his friends, kneeled on the rock watching the double sunset on Octo, just as he had watched the double sunset on Tatooine so many years before, and peacefully having saved the day for the galaxy, died and became one with the Force, vanishing to exist as a ghost within the power of the Force. I have no doubt that in the Rise of Skywalker we will see him. Luke Skywalker is a legendary character. His great journey from a whiny farm boy to the ultimate embodiment of Jedi philosophy is staggering, brilliant, and truly a sight to behold. I have enjoyed every step in Luke's story. And I think that Mark Hamill delivers. Now, Mark Hamill during the original trilogy, he's not what I'd call the greatest actor. I think his finest performance came in The Last Jump. Luke is a character that I think we can all identify with. He's the kid who feels stuck in the mire, searching for his purpose in life. 
How many of us have been in similar situations? We want something more. We want adventure in the great line somewhere, to quote Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Luke is that archetypal hero going on the journey. And we can all identify with that journey. Luke learns so many lessons along the way. Learns the value of friendship. Learns the value of wisdom. Learns the value of patience. Virtues that we all seek in our own lives. Mark, Mark Hamill brings so much to the role. He is iconic in the role as Luke. This character is brought so much to this universe. It was sad to see him go in The Last Jedi. It is true. And I suspect that we'll see him as a ghost in The Rise of Skywalker. Imparting some very important wisdom to Ray, and maybe he'll do even more than that. We see what Force Ghosts can do with Yoda lighting the Jedi tree on fire on Octo. So who knows? Luke may do more than just impart wisdom. Perhaps he will be involved in an even greater way. So Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, is one of the great characters of Star Wars and truly deserves the mantle of legend that we have given to it. My name is Brennan Marr. That noise you hear is my ventilator. And thank you for tuning in to Page Turners They Were Not My Star Wars Podcast. May the Force be with you.